Hey fam, it is your girl, the one and the only Spicy, and I'm here today with another amazing pick a card reading. I hope everyone is well. I hope you are feeling great. I am feeling blessed. The weather is very nice outside, though it's really hot. <laughs> I'm just excited that it's the sun is out and it's blue skies and yeah, it helps. So with that being said, y'all, um, the question that we're going to be asking Spirit today is what can you do to live your best life? So I will repeat the question. What can you do to live your best life? So y'all, we just going to be getting some advice from Spirit on different things that we can do or even some things that we can let go of so that we can, you know, live the life that we deserve. Okay. And a good life is going to look different to everybody you know, but, you know, whatever it is to you, we're going to be tapping in and seeing, you know, what spirit can can help and advise you with, with doing. So with that being said, <laughs> welcome to all the new and returning viewers and subscribers. Special welcome back to y'all. Thank you to everyone who has been liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing videos. Um, I'm definitely happy that you all are supporting this channel and supporting this growth and i hope that in return that you all are getting some amazing content from me so energy exchange but with that being said if you are new to pick a card readings this is how this reading is going to go you can pause the video right now if you need to and look at the three decks that you have in front of you dang i just realized i ain't put any crystals out <laughs> Okay, we just gonna keep it rolling. Look at the three decks that you have in front of you and just choose the deck that uh, you feel the most attracted to. Okay, so for pile one, we have the Stardust Tarot. For pile two, we have the Ethereal Visions um, Tarot deck. And then for pile three, we have the Navigator's Tarot. So go ahead and choose whichever pile or piles that you wanna listen to and then just go to the description box, scroll down to the timestamps and then just choose the timestamp that correlates with the pile or the piles that you have chosen and I will see you at your reading. All right, fam. <laughs> if you chose pile one, which is uh, the Stardust Tarot, y'all, like I said in the intro, I definitely forgot about the crystals. But it's okay. We gonna just, you know, we gonna keep it moving. We gonna keep it pushing. Um, but yeah, welcome to all the new viewers. Special welcome back to all the returning subscribers. The question we're asking today is, what can you do to live your best life? Like I said in the intro, best life is gonna be different to everybody. Like what you deem to be a, a good life for you is gonna be different from what I deem to be a good life. So we just gonna ask spirit, like what are some things that you can do or even some things that you can let go of so that you can continue to keep progressing to the life that you deserve um, and for the life that you want, okay? So make sure you check out all of the links in the description box. There you'll find links to follow me on Instagram, to book a personal reading, um, to donate to this channel to support its growth. Donations are greatly appreciated, though they are not required, but I do recommend them so we can get some more crystals and tarot decks popping on this channel, okay? And also, um, yeah, you can um, check check my Etsy store out where I post my line of 3D and hand-painted gel press on nails. So let's go ahead and get started. In addition to the tarot, I have three other Oracle decks um, that I am planning to use. Um, I definitely know for a fact I'll be using the Wisdom of the Oracle and also the Surrender deck, but I also have a Divine Feminine Oracle out here as well. Um, I may use that. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Like... What can you do to to live your best life? What can you do to live your best life? So y'all have the seven of cups. You got the emperor. <laughs> spirit like make up your mind <laughs> make up your mind like find the lane and you also have the nine of cups yeah it's time for you all to choose something okay choose something like y'all could be people and it's nothing wrong with you know having multiple options having multiple opportunities like things that you can do you know having a lot of different hobbies or you know things that you like to do and spend your time doing like it's okay to have a lot of those different things but it's like 
it's time for y'all to seriously increase your income and to seriously master something. So it's time for y'all to pick something and to master that thing and to be consistent with that thing. It's okay. Like, I get it because I'm like this too. It's like <laughs> there's multiple things that I like to do, you know? But at the same time, when you realize like, oh yeah, there's a lot of things that you like to do. You may be switching your energy and going back and forth between this thing and that thing. And you may not have the opportunity to really truly master that one thing. So I really feel like for y'all, it's time for you to choose. But I also think that you should give yourself, you know, like a brainstorming period or something like a time like sit down with your notebook or something and just brainstorm you know different things that you know you can actually do or hash out an idea or hash out something and make it a plan you know an actual action plan but yeah I do definitely do feel like um something that you can do to help live your best life is to definitely get into your imagination like imagination is definitely one of our higher faculties and imagination stems further than what we can see. You know, it's really what's in our, <laughs> what our vision is, like what we can see within our head. Like no one is in our brain. No one else can document these things. So I just feel like it's on you to take a second, have a brainstorming session, just get into your imagination, allow your mind to wander and write down what you see or even create a vision board, you know, and then look at your vision board, you know, or write down your goals and look at like, what can I actually do? Like, you know, and then focus on that thing because it's time for you all to kind of be your own boss. It's time for you all to, you know, um, become an influencer within that thing or a thought leader, or, you know, it's time for you to participate and it's time for you to engage in you know what is in your imagination and what is your vision it's time for you all to do that because i feel like when you do that it's gonna bring you the like the wish fulfillment is gonna bring you the satisfaction is gonna bring you exactly all of the things that you want like this is it's just interesting because it's like for this pile is like this has nothing to do with no one else like <laughs> right the point of this reading is what can you do this has nothing to do with anyone else like you know it's solely about you and what you want to build and create for yourself and i definitely do feel like you all have the potential to be very accomplished and successful people very accomplished you know people are going to respect you people are going to look up to you um and people are going to admire you know what you create but these things are coming from your vision so it's time for you all to choose in your imagination so it's time for you all to choose something okay Choose something, allow your mind to wander, choose something, you know, and figure out how you can monetize that thing. Figure out how you can turn that thing into a business. You uh, you have to, you know, you have to choose. Like, don't keep yourself in a state of indecision. There's nobody holding you back anymore. Don't care about what other people have to say and make a way. It's time for you all to really make a way. It's like, <laughs> spirit really like it's on you like we know it's on us right but i feel like you need to hear that like it's on you and literally there's nothing in your way you know there's nothing in your way and if anything pops up in your way it's like you're going to be so determined at that point in time that you're just going to push it out the way because you already figured out what your vision is you already figured out what your goals are you already know what you have to do so nothing is going to deter you and stop you from that thing. So I just feel like spirit is like, if you want to live this best life that we know here, especially with the nine of cups is like, a is here for you. It's a, it's abundance for you. Then it's like, you're going to have to choose and you're going to have to stand firm, stand your ground and be diligent and create what it is that you want. Because y'all have the potential to be like, just highly, <clears throat> excuse me, you have the potential to be just highly respected people within this field or within this craft, you know, so you might as well just jump in. And like for y'all, it's like, I know it's like this for other people where they like, you know, their happiness is tied to their bank account. Um, <laughs> it's, it just is what it is. People feel a lot more happier and secure when they know that they are good money wise. And I just feel it's like that is here for y'all as well too it's like your emotional fulfillment is going to be tied to the things that you have built up for yourself so i just i want that for y'all i i want that for y'all like <laughs> i really do i want that for y'all like i want that for y'all like it's really time for you to 
you know, become stable, like become, you know, become stable, like decide on something and stick with that thing and be consistent and build it, you know, like with the four of wands here, it's just coming up as even more success, like even more success. So I just feel like it's really up to you finding solutions and executing plans. Like it's really up to you to do that. Okay. So think about it. What's the problem? The problem is you probably want some more money in your life. Okay. What's the solution? Figure out what a solution is. Okay. Well, what are the action steps that I could take to get there? And for y'all, y'all should probably um, check out a previous reading that I did called your three, your three steps to success. Okay. And I even have one of those free readings. If you have your own tarot cards, you could do it as well. But it's like success is here. It's abundant for y'all. So it's like, <laughs> We have the four of wands, we have the nine of cups, we have the emperor. So it's just like, you know, it's really time for you all to start to, you know, make decisions, you know, solve problems. And it's time for you all to really execute your plan. Like it's really on you. Now we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, it's time for you all to plant a seed and it's time for you all to nurture that seed and grow that seed. So you have to be diligent. You have to think like the seven of pentacles is a lot. It's like contemplation. And it's also like patience as well. So it's like, you have to think this is a journey for y'all. This is a journey that you're going to be taking from figuring out what's in your imagination, what you actually want to do, you know, figuring out what your, what your vision is, planning it, you know, setting goals. And it's like, it's going to take you time to accomplish these things. So it's like, you might as well start now. Like you might as well start now because it's going to take time for, I keep hearing worthy ideal, <laughs> like it's going to take time for this seed, you know, to, to grow because something that I learned, something that I learned is definitely like, you never know how long it's going to take a seed to grow. Like we know that, you know, from, <laughs> from science, you know, from experience and even myself experiential knowledge, you know, that it takes about nine to 10 months. Okay. Before a child is birthed into this world, it take about nine to 10 months. You feel me? So it's like, if you have a vision how, and goal and you've never accomplished that thing, how are you supposed to know how long it's going to take for that thing to come to fruition? So you might as well start today. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, <laughs> you might as well start today. Like, so let's see what else you can do. Um, we'll get some additional cards. Let's see what else you can do to live your best life. Like, start today. <laughs> start today. Like start today that's what you can do like start today so the card that y'all have is the to be fair card the to be fair yeah i just i just definitely think it's time for you all to like i feel like it's meant for you to be successful it's meant for you to be accomplished it's meant for you to be executing things it's meant for you to find solutions to issues it's meant for you to be an influencer it's meant for you to be someone that's respected it's meant like this is meant for you so i just feel as though if you're not in this place it's like are you really happy with your life right now like just keep it up but it's like because it seems as though if you're not in this place then you're going to be experiencing a lot of injustice you know <laughs> you're going to be experiencing some injustice some things that you deem is not fair and it really could be not fair but it's also up to you to have to restore this justice back into your life by creating the life that you know that you really want and that you know is out here for you. So <laughs> it's like you really do have to be fair to yourself and it's time to start living life in a lot much more simpler way by going with the flow of, you know, what is supposed to happen for you. So accept it, like <laughs> accept it. If this is new information for you and you've never accepted it, like accept it. If you already know that you're supposed to be, you know, accomplished, that you're supposed to be diligently working towards goals. If you know that there's something missing, like if you know that that it's up to you to create the life that you want for yourself, then this is just going to be a confirmation. Okay. But if you haven't been on the ball working, getting things done, like it's time for you to start to get things done. Cause there's, there's no way that you can be able to get from, you know, where you are to where you see yourself, like without putting in any work, without putting any action and without, you know, being consistent. So I would just say, 
um a big the big thing here is thinking finding solutions problem solving like execution like that's what you gotta do like <laughs> that's what you gotta do you trying to be over here with the nine of cups like being all accomplished and stuff then it's successful then that's what you have to do it's time for you to put that work in and we also have a change in the wind and this was on the bottom of the deck yeah like it's time for you to go in a different direction like it's really time for you to do so like is you're on your journey you're on your path it may take some time especially with the seven of pentacles it may take some time but you really got to move yourself into that habitual behavior and pattern of working and executing like you have to get there okay you really do and so for you it's probably going to also be you um changing your habits um and starting to incorporate habits that really do benefit you and your goals and where it is that you see yourself going okay so don't focus on anything else unless it has to do with your goal like don't focus on anything else like if it has nothing to do with you get becoming successful and doing what you have to do like and being accomplished then you gotta let it go it would only be detracting you or distracting you from you know the matter at hand which is <laughs> you want to live your best life Okay, I'm not saying abandon your family. I'm not saying abandon all of these other things that actually are responsibilities. But it's like, let those things be your why. You know, let those things help, you know, guide your intentions to why it is that you are, you know, focusing on what you have going on and consistently executing. So it's just time for you all to be consistent. You know, choose something. <laughs> choose something. Pick a lane. <laughs> Stay in that lane. And take advantage like that's just what i keep hearing is like get in get in your lane like <laughs> find the lane all right so we have a divine feminine oracle we're gonna see what came up for y'all and this card here we have happiness yeah i mean i definitely like that for y'all because when i see the nine of cups is very much a card of happiness and sat satisfaction as well so i definitely do feel like it's time for you all to really you know experience this happiness and experience this joy so i would probably say like when it comes down to deciding on what you're gonna do or just being tapped into your imagination it's like think about the things that you know make you feel happy and when you connect with those things and like even if you're engaging in hobbies or business ideas creative ideas that make you happy it's you know it's a <laughs> nine out of ten chance that you're gonna remain consistent and you're going to keep on, you know, um, working on it. You're going to keep on investing time there because you find happiness doing that. Okay. It's like, it's better to be happy with what you're doing than to not be happy. Okay. It's like, cause it's going to help with the energy It's going to help with your vibration. And, you know, you're going to be sending positive feedback, you know, into the universe to let them know, like, I actually like what I'm doing here. You know, like I like this, you know, so you're going to keep on experiencing more things that you actually do like and, you know, keep experiencing more happiness as opposed to, you know, because I was one of these people before. So no tea, no shade. It's just like I was one of those people that used to go to work and just used to hate going to work. I used to hate it. And so it was like I just kept getting more and more jobs that I was completely dissatisfied with until I decided to just focus on what I wanted to do. So that's all I'm saying. Just a quick anecdote, but yeah it's time for you to experience experience happiness um it's definitely time for you all to do that and then we also have harmony as well like <laughs> harmony as well like yeah it's time for you to be in balance with you know your energetic vibration and with what it is that you're doing like so you can only continue like i said to experience more of that so i would definitely say when it comes down to you deciding on what you want to do and focusing on that thing yeah focus on things that definitely make you feel happy that you're happy with that you feel excited to do and then also things that you are in harmony with as well that you're in balance with and things that actually make sense like so i would definitely say do that that is definitely coming up as well um yeah i'm excited for you but like, i'm definitely excited for you because i really do feel as though like success is just is here for you but it's also you know up to <laughs> you know what it is that you 
you know, like, what what are you going to do? Like, it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? It's really up to you. So we have um, surrender to the wisdom of your body. Um, so basically, we're asking spirit, like, what is it that you can, you know, let go of? Or what is it that you can surrender? And it's essentially, um, this message is backing up um, what I previously said and just confirming that message. It's just like the card says, listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. So yeah, that's essentially what I was saying here as well. Like, it's really going to come down to you listening to yourself um, and listening to um, your gut, you know, listening to your intuition and just being guided that way. Like, how do you feel when you're doing something? Like, so just think about it. Like, think about any of the things that you do, the things that you want to do, you know, business ideas, creative ideas that you want to, um, that you want to, um, what was the word? It's like that you want to invest in. <laughs> That's not the word, but you know, think about these things and just go with what feels right to you. Okay. Go with what feels right to you. Don't worry about anything else. Don't worry about how am I going to get this for this or that for that. It's like, if you want it, then the universe is going to provide all of the resources and the things that you're going to need. But I really feel like for y'all, it's going to be important for you to decide and plan. Okay, decide and plan because you're going to be executing anyway. You're going to be executing. You're going to be putting work in. It just is what it is. What it is that you want is literally on the other side of what you're afraid to do. Okay, what it is that you want is on the other side of what you are afraid to do. So just put one foot in front of the other so that you can go accomplish these goals. Okay, <laughs> so that you can go do that. But I definitely hope that you all resonated with this reading I definitely hope that I was able to give you all some information that you can use as you continue to move forward and live your best life. It seems like success in accomplishing goals is, you know, what is going to help you to live your best life. And I just, you know, I, I wish nothing but the best for you. So with that being said, definitely make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. All right, fam, if you chose pile two, which is the Ethereal Visions tarot deck, um, I said it in the intro, y'all. I definitely forgot the crystals, but it's okay because we're going to keep it moving, all right? But if you chose this deck, I'm going to get started with your reading. But first and foremost, I want to say welcome to all the new viewers and a special welcome back to all the returning subscribers. I definitely appreciate y'all for your support and I'm just excited to be here. Make sure that you check out all of the information in the description box. There you'll find um, links to um, follow me on Instagram. Um, you can even go over to threads on my profile um, so you can follow me there. Um, you can also uh, book a personal reading with me if you would like to. The information is there. If you would like to check out my Etsy store where I post my line of 3D and hand-painted gel press on nails, you can check that out. And last but not least, um, there definitely is information if you would like to donate to this channel. I definitely appreciate, you know, all of the support that you all have been, you know, given to me. And I'm just excited to continue to keep putting out more fire content. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We're asking Spirit, what can you do to live your best life? Like a best life, a great life, all of that stuff is going to look different. Okay. What I deem to be a be the best life for me is going to be different from what you deem to be the best life for you. But I'm just hoping that in this reading spirit can definitely give us some advice for things that we can do um, so that we can live the life that, you know, we deserve. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So y'all have the 10 of pentacles. You have the Eight of Cups. Those cards came out. I didn't even really have to shuffle the deck like that. And then you also have the Four of Cups. You also have the Four of Cups. But let me get some clarification. And we're going to get started. Oh, yeah. It might be time for y'all to branch off and do your own thing. It might be time for y'all to do your own thing. Some of y'all, I feel like you live with family or your family's pro helping you, providing for you, um, something like that. Some of y'all could even work within your family's business. 
um you know you you could just be doing something that's already been you know set out there for you to do you know just kind of following a pattern some of y'all can even be you know under the influence of family you're under the influence of family like it's other people telling you what to do like spirit wants you to make your own decisions okay make your own decisions like the, stop being so highly influenced by other people and i know it it seemed like okay i feel like something y'all do too is all, always asking people like what do you think what do you think about this what do you think it's just it seemed like y'all not making your own decisions like it's other people influencing you and trying to tell you what to do and it's like i get it because it could be comfort there you might respect these people's influence or you have no other option but to listen to what these other people are telling you to do and it's like i really do feel like for y'all it's going to be important for you all to break off and do your own thing if it's not family you could be um in some type of like community organization or working with a group of other people um you could even be in a business partnership you know you could even be working under a boss you know somebody that's telling you what to do but i just feel like where you are there's a limit and there's a cap on what you can actually do because there's other people i feel like that's above you not like power i mean power wise yeah like it especially if you're in a business partnership or working at a job or something or you're living you know under the roof you're under your family's roof it's like there's people that essentially are a bit above you where it's like their words you know of course are it's not like their words matter more but it's like you kind of have no option but to listen to them so it's like or to be influenced by them it's like spirit wants you to do your own thing it's time for you to distance yourself it's time for you to make your own decisions it's time for you to go figure out what's best for you because as much comfort as you might be you know experiencing within this group or with other people or within this business partnership or living with your family or working at your family's business or something like that as much comfort as you might experience there is like you're becoming bored and dissatisfied and disinterested because I don't see you as someone who is like, you don't have enough. You know what I'm trying to say? I feel like you are a very blessed person. I feel like you are very blessed. Um, and I feel like there's a lot that you could be grateful for, but there's issues going on with gratitude right now because you don't have what it is that you actually truly want. And I think it's because you've been allowing other people to make decisions or to influence your behavior or to tell you things like, oh, you should do this or, oh, you, sh you should be doing this or no, don't do that. Come over here, do this. And it's like, <laughs> that's not what you want. That's not what you want. So it's really time for you all to you know restore you know justice for you you know what does justice mean for you like and justice to you might mean i need to go find what i'm <laughs> what is best for me and i need to go engage in what is best for me okay and you're gonna have to defend yourself you're gonna have to defend your decisions you you just have to because i feel as though it's other people that have always been influencing you some some of y'all i feel like you're too anxious to really step out and do what you really want to do because you feel like people gonna ask like are people gonna say something or people gonna be asking you questions and look I was one of those types of people too, where it's just like, you know, you want to do something and then it's like, you feel like you can't truly be you. So you have to passively, aggressively do things. It's like, no, you should be able to be free to live the life that you actually truly deserve. And I really think it's going to come down to you to start listening to yourself, listen to what you want instead of being influenced by other people and what other people want to tell you to do or what other people want from you or want you to do. It's time for y'all to do that. And you're going to have to defend yourself you will like you're going to have to but think about it <laughs> you're if you're experiencing a boredom with life right now it's like you already have to defend yourself like you already have to defend yourself and you already have to defend your actions like so <laughs> you might as well <laughs> like the chair you say okay like the chair you say you might as well become focused and determined on what you want for yourself you might as well do that you might as well take action on what it is that you want like and stop listening to what other people have to say and it's like other people can mean well but at the end of the day it's about your happiness so people gonna say whatever they want to say it's about your happiness and it's about what you want 
So you might as well just, like I said, do what the chariot say. Like, do what the chariot say. The chariot is a card of action, determination, and focus, you know? And then also with this um, chariot card, the per, um the person in the car looks like they're holding the um like a magic wand or something so it's time for you all to really start to manifest into this life what it is that you actually want you know y'all don't y'all not destitute <laughs> y'all not you know it's not like y'all having extreme issues right now like it seemed like you're living a pretty comfortable life like your needs are taken care of okay Let's take a second to thank God and be grateful our needs are being taken care of here, but it's just not the fullness of what it is that you want. And rightfully so, with this Eight of Cups, you have the right to go find what it is that you really truly want out of life. That's what that card is all about. It's all about you moving on. It's all about you walking away. It's time for you all to, in my opinion, I feel like to be self-sufficient and to be, you know, independent. It's time for you all to do that. Um... It's, it looked like it's an expiration coming up on this anyway, as far as you being, you know, having your family influence you or you being supported by your family. It looks like it's coming to an end anyway. So you might as well prepare yourself and get a jump, <laughs> get a jump on it by going to find something that you love to love to do, you know, doing something on your own, branching off. It's time for you all to get a jump on doing that because it looked like the, it's coming to an expiration anyway. It looks like it's coming to an expiration. So the card that flipped over for y'all was also the Knight of Swords. Yeah, with the Chariot, the Knight of Swords, it's time for y'all to act. It's time for y'all to execute. It's time for y'all to, to do, okay? It's time for y'all to do that. And yeah, you might have to, <laughs> Spirit said, F what a hater gotta say. Like, you might have to literally be like this and just be like, well, I don't care about what anybody else has to say. I'm going to be determined and focused on me. Like you definitely might have to get into that energy. And it's not like, <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be a certain type of energy that is off putting to other people, but it's just letting people know out of respect, you know, for myself and what I need for my life is like, I have to go make my own decisions. It's like, at some point in time, you gave too much influence to um or you gave too much uh of your autonomy away like you gave your free will away you gave your you know your control away and it's like we should have self-control over our lives and self-control I, I feel like i've said it on this channel before it's not about you just having control over your emotions it's about you having control over the direction of your life because we do have free will and we can make choices okay we can make choices so it's like you have to start to rely on yourself to make the best choices that you need to make for yourself that's what you have to do that's what you have to do like and i know it's easy to be influenced by other people and other people like i said they mean well other people mean well you know a hater not gonna mean well but it's like other people other people mean well you know what i'm saying <laughs> other people mean well um but it it's all about you now it's all about you. So for y'all, you have a new life. This card came up in the Wisdom of the Oracle. I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle and get a second card. You have new life and you have happy, happy. New life and happy, happy. Yeah, so it looks like with this angel being like recently hatched, it's like it's time for y'all to... <laughs> it's time for y'all because some of y'all are grown kids. Grown kids with your family. It's like it's time for y'all to... <laughs> hatch <laughs> it's time for y'all to hatch okay the hatchlings have to hatch and it's time for you to go live your life and whatever that means to you okay go live your life it's time for you to go move on like you've been in the comfort of your family or you've been in the comfort of others and it's time for you to go create some waves in your life like it's time for you to create some waves and i feel like the first way that you can do that is by making your own decisions like Oftentimes, we don't even need to ask for advice because we already know if we listen, you know, to our intuition, if we listen to our gut, if we listen to ourselves, it's like we already know what the right thing is to do is like we already know the confusion comes from you knowing what the right thing is, but you not wanted to do it. That's where the confusion be coming from. It's like, you know what the right thing is. Now, just do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's let's live a simple life. 
Okay, let's live a simple life. But yeah, with happy, happy, yeah, I feel like the key to your own happiness is within, especially if you all are experiencing boredom, if you all are experiencing disinterest, if you know that you're not, it's, it just is what it is. It's like, I'm not going to shame you for maybe not feeling gratitude, but it's like when you feel gratitude, it's just a really, really high vibration and you feel like all is well in the world and I feel like you deserve to feel like that too but I feel like it's gonna come from you making your own decisions and you know and finding success with the decisions that you make and you know you starting to trust and rely on yourself so some of y'all probably don't have too much trust in yourself you don't trust yourself as much hence is why you could be asking other people for advice and why those people have become influences over you it's time for you to you know get some get some self-respect okay get some self-respect and trust yourself to make the right decisions and make those decisions that are gonna bring you success take actions on those decisions you know stand firm on what your decisions are another way that we say stand firm is we'd be like stay 10 toes down so commit and be loyal to the decisions that you make but yeah, I definitely do feel like the key to your happiness is, of course, is going to be within you. The key to living your best life is going to be within you. I just think it's time for you all to take a new direction when it comes to life and trust yourself and make your own decisions. So let's see what else comes up from the Divine Feminine Oracle deck. Give me a second to shuffle this deck because I didn't really get to shuffle it after um, the last pile. And I know sometimes the same cards be wanting to come out because I didn't take the time to shuffle. So you all have trauma bond. You will have trauma bond. So it could be that the advice and guidance that you're getting, you know, or at least from the people that you're getting it from is a little outdated. It's, it might be time for you all to, in a sense, like cut those cords of attachment into literally, like it says new life. It says eight of, eight of cups, like it, it, 10 of swords over here. Like that's letting me know that like the influence that these people have had over you or, you know, even the comfort ability, comfortability that you've been experiencing in this place by giving away your free will or giving away your self-control over your own life and your life direction is like, those things are coming to an end. Okay, those things are coming to an end, like I said. So you might as well make the shift now <laughs> as opposed to, you know, it becoming overdue and then you being stuck with, you know, no experience because you haven't really been truly trusting yourself um, or you being stuck trying to figure things out. So it's like where you at right now, you might as well start to, you know, listen to yourself and get into the habit of doing that and then taking action on what it is that you that you want to do. Like because it's time, you know, it's time for you to do that. So it's time like it's time for you to do that. It's just giving me the energy of like someone who is growing up, <laughs> you know, like you're coming of age now, like you're coming of age now where it's like at some point you're going to have to trust yourself like and create those waves. You're trusting yourself and creating waves. And then we also have chemistry here. So the chemistry card came up as well. And yeah, it's not to say that you have to just be like F what everybody has to say. Like I would, I would definitely say like don't cut off you know, those people that, you know, um, actually want to support you, you know, the people that want to support you. But I also feel like it's time for you all to, you know, kind of go focus on yourself because I feel like you care a lot about what the people around you have to say, even with it being, you know, sticky situation. It's like you care a lot about what the other people have to say and you may not want to hurt their feelings you know, you may not want to hurt their feelings and you may not want to rock the boat when it comes to your relationships with them because you want to go off and you want to do your own thing. You know, some of y'all might feel like, dang, if I go start focusing and, you know, on me and living my life the way I want to, like, if I do that, what does that mean for, you know, what are the implications for, you know, the other people that have been around me and they potentially support me and mean well for me? Like, what does that mean? And it's like... At the end of the day, they're going to say something. They're going to say something. But as things start to work out for you and you're trusting yourself and making your own decisions, they're going to have no other option but to respect and accept what it is that you're doing. It's really just all you. I'm kind of getting the 
the um what the card that popped up in my head i didn't see it it was the um the eight of swords so you know the longer that you you know don't trust yourself and keep yourself in a certain place it's like you might become you know stuck you might become stagnant you know just sitting in one spot and it's like if you're not growing it's like you're going backwards you know if you're not moving forward you're moving backwards and that's just is what it is because energy is constant it does not sit still so think about that that way it's like think about it that way and maybe that'll help you to you know act and move forward and do something you know and and, and solve these issues like but I just feel as though y'all might feel like, well, what, how are they going to feel if I, you know, cut myself out of this or if I, you know, just start to focus on me, or if I start to be independent so that you can develop self-sufficiency. It's like, what are they going to say? Because I really feel as like you care about these people or these people actually care about you. But I just feel like, like I said, it's like they just gonna have to accept it and if they love you they're gonna support you if they have an issue with it then you just gonna have to be in a seven of wands energy and just move it out the way like that's just what you gonna have to do <laughs> you gonna have to move it out the way so for y'all we have surrender procrastination which is funny <laughs> this it's not funny that y'all got surrender procrastination but it's just spirit just confirmed it okay i was about to be like it's a coincidence but it's not a coincidence if you know you know so surrender procrastination now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off taking action will attract success you have two cards here that's talking about this we have the cherry and we also have the knight of swords so and also of course that deep passion within you is the eight of cups because you know that there's better out there for you you know, you know that there's something that is missing. There's something that's missing. And when you get that thing, it's like you're going to feel the wish fulfillment and the, you know, the satisfaction that you actually really want and that you actually really deserve. So it's time for you all to walk away. <laughs> See the steps? It's time for you to walk away. But understand that as you walk away, you're not, you know, walking away to <laughs> walk to the depths of hell. It's like you're walking away to ascend and to vibrate in a higher um, energetic um, to be in a higher energetic vibration that's what you're doing okay that's what you're doing by focusing on you by trusting yourself you know and be an influence over your own life okay develop self-control over your own life and direction so yeah i just feel like you could potentially be listening to other people and it's deterring you and it's detracting you from what you actually truly want and now it's just time to listen to yourself so what can you do to listen what can you do to live your best life listen to yourself trust yourself and make your own decisions um but yeah i definitely hope that you all <laughs> resonated with this pile i definitely hope that you all understood the question um you understood the answer definitely make sure that y'all like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next one all right fam my pile three people Okay, shout outs to Pile 3. <laughs> y'all, I'm just having fun with y'all. I'm having fun today. But welcome to this uh, channel if you're a new viewer. And special welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. You know, I appreciate y'all. Y'all been liking, commenting, turning up with the views, and sharing videos. And I definitely appreciate y'all supporting this channel's growth. So, you know, energy exchange. I got to come back with another reading. So with that being said, y'all, the question we're asking Spirit today is what can you do to live your best life? And the idea of what a, you know, a great life means is going to be different. What I deem to be my best life is going to be different from what you deem to be your best life. But we're going to be asking Spirit, like, what is something that you can practically do to help guide you in that direction so that you can progress into living the life that you deserve, okay? Into living a happy, a peaceful, and abundant life that you deserve. So that's will be asking spirit today definitely make sure that y'all check out all of the links in the description box i have links to follow me on instagram you can also follow me on threads too um i might just start posting a link but yeah it's linked to instagram so if you know you know um also you can find links to book a personal reading with me if you would like to to check out my etsy store where i post my new line of 3d and hand painted um gel personal nails and to also donate to this channel to support its growth 
y'all i want to definitely get some more tarot cards and some more crystals so definitely you know don't hold back if you want to bless your girl if you want to bless me don't hold back but it's also not required either you know it's not a requirement so don't feel like it's something you have to do if it's something you want to do that's a different story so let's go ahead and get started y'all we're asking spirit what can you do to live your best life and i have three other oracle decks that i'm going to be using I have the Wisdom of the Oracle, a Divine Feminine Oracle, and I also have the Surrender deck as well for some additional messages to supplement the tarot. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Like, what can you do to live your best life? Okay, so we have Realization. Let me shuffle these cards. Give me one second, fam. We have Knight of Swords. We have Four of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Then we also have the Strength card, but the Strength card came up within the reverse. All right, so for y'all, I definitely do feel like it's time for you to do whatever it is that you need to do to let go of the past and to let go of disappointments. It's like, it might be time for y'all to forgive. So if it's anybody that you need to forgive, it's not to say call that person up and be like, I forgive you for all the BS that you did to me. It's like, it's time for you to, you know, just sit within yourself and forgive. Like, it's really time for you all to do that. I feel like if you give yourself some time to literally think, you know, like give yourself some time to think about this, then it'll put you in a space to where you can actually see something from a different perspective. And I definitely do feel like seeing your past in a different perspective will definitely allow you to heal it. So I definitely feel like it might be time for you all to forgive, like forgive yourself for what you did do or what you didn't do and forgive any other type, any other people, because it could be that this forgive this, um, you keeping yourself stuck in the past is uh, taken away from you know, the present moment of what you could actually be doing in the present moment um, to help you experience that brighter future that you actually really want to have. So I just feel like a lot of you all are just, you're disempowering yourself by being stuck in the past or by running through stories in your mind of like, oh, what you could have did or what this person did or what this person said to you. And it's not to say that what you've experienced is like, it's, it wasn't heartbreaking or it wasn't traumatic. It's not to say that. So I don't want y'all to feel like I'm trying to bypass over what it was that you went through. I just feel like at this point in time, it's like what you went through can only be used as, you know, experience as you continue to move forward, but that y'all could be potentially keeping yourself stuck in the hurt and disappointment of the past. You know, you could be keeping yourself stuck there where it's like there's a whole, you know, present moment that you could be immersed in that'll help you in which you can actually be doing things that can help you to, you know, get to where it is that you want to be. But there's there's just this disempowerment this that's there, like you know, that's within your past. And I feel like the disempowerment is probably from you feeling like stuck or just feeling like there's nothing that you can do. Um, you know, this feeling like there's nothing that you could do. Um, and it's true because it's like, you really can't go back. You really cannot go back and rewind time. You know what I'm saying? You can't go back and rewind time. So if it's like you're having those moments where you're regressing, it's like, yeah, I get it. You can definitely regress. I completely get it. Like if that's what you have to do, but as you regress, it's like, make sure that you're telling yourself like, it's okay. Like you weren't protected in that moment, but I'm protecting you now. Like talk to yourself, you know? 
like regression happens all the time but what is it that you're telling yourself as you're regressing back into these memories you know what what are you telling yourself because like ptsd is definitely a real thing but it's like what are you also telling yourself when you're experiencing those moments like you know what what are you telling yourself when you're experiencing those emotions you know and you're you know those sensory you know uh feelings that you're feeling from that thing because it's true it's like we can you know get out of trauma or get out of a, an abuse but then our mind can literally regress and now our you know blood pressure running up our heart beating fast we starting to sweat we starting to get anxious we starting to feel fear we starting to feel disgust we starting to feel you know we starting to feel a whole bunch of stuff i'm not putting that on y'all but i'm just saying that happens when you regress so it's like what are you telling yourself when you're there and i definitely do feel like it's time for you all to find ways to you know move past your past because your past is not it's very it's very disempowering it's very disempowering so for y'all i feel like y'all best life it doesn't just have to do with um you know like oh success in uh money and you know finances it's like for y'all i feel like your best life is also a life that includes love it's like it's a life that includes love and i feel like it's a life that includes um self-love it, you know, and I just feel as though and self-love and definitely also love with another person. And some of y'all is like, that's what you really want. But it's like right now you're not putting yourself in the best um, place to feel empowered to go and receive this thing. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all are not doing that. So I feel like the best thing that you could do right now is to definitely, you know, get in tune with yourself. Get get in touch with your spirituality Get in touch with your, you know, with your emotions and with your feelings. Like, don't push those things to the side. Yes, feel them. But I also feel like don't get stuck in the disappointments within the past or what did not work out within the past. Because that is going to put you in a place to where you don't feel empowered enough to keep pushing and keep moving forward. Yeah, it's time for you all to think. It's a lot of, yo, know, <laughs> spirit, spirit just telling everybody to think. Like, there's a lot that has to do here with thinking especially with this aeon card which says realization and then also with the seven of pentacles it's like you got to think about this here you know you have to think about this like and you have to be kind to yourself i feel like too and be very patient with yourself and take little steps moving forward you know take little steps and it's time for y'all to start to shed those hardened parts and aspects of yourself that you have taken on through the disappointment okay what i just heard was what i just heard was icebox <laughs> icebox by omarion when he'd be like i got this icebox where my heart used to be like so it definitely is time for you all to start to shed those hardened aspects of yourself like those things that have been hardened through your life experience and i know it's i know it hurts i know it really does but it's like it doesn't keep you in an empowered space and an empowered space is where you want to be you don't want to be disempowered you don't want to be in a state of anxiety and fear because that's going to keep you in the same spot so it's really time for you all to tap into yourself and you know still stay connected to what it is that you want because i feel like for y'all what y'all want it has a lot to do with and your sense of accomplishment is definitely connected to you know having deep loving emotional connection with someone else as well as a deep loving emotional you know connection to yourself and some of y'all even with this uh queen of cups is like this is your natural actual energy is like your energy is to be loving your energy is to be nurturing your energy is to listen to other people where other people feel like they're safe with you feel like they're secure with you like that this is your natural energy but it's like the more that you focus and think about things that you know disappointed you or things that failed because sometimes the seven of pentacles and one of the decks i have is is failure so it's like you're thinking about these things that did not work out but it's not helping you to move forward in the right direction. You're kind of just keeping yourself stuck in the past. Um, but yeah, I definitely do feel like y'all want to live your best life. You're going to have to forgive your past and you're going to have to move past it, you know, and just take a little step. OK, and take your time. Like, don't feel like you have to get from A to Z and be at Z tomorrow. Like, yeah, you won't get from A to Z. 
But if it has to take, you know, three months, if it has to take six months, if it has to take nine months, at least every day you're taking steps, you know, to empower yourself. You're taking steps to forgive. You're taking steps to get over this, you know, disappointment or to get over what it was that you lost. Okay. Cause that'd be a thing. It's like, if you don't get over what you lost, that's a, this a word for y'all. It's like, if you don't get over what you lost, it's like, how is spirit supposed to bring in what's new? It's like you're literally craving for things that are dead and gone. It's not here no more. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not here. So we have to let it go, you know, so that you can accept the new into your life. Like, so where you can accept the new. So for you all, you have come to the edge, come to the edge, um, come to the edge came up for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I like come to the edge, come to the edge came up for y'all. Um, but yeah, it's definitely time for y'all to go in a new direction, like go in a new direction, get yourself out of the past, go in a new direction. Like, and I feel as though it's just time for y'all to just focus on you, like literally focus on you, focus on listening to your inner guidance, um, you know, and developing self-love within you, okay? Just because we experience disappointments and failures in life doesn't mean that those disappointments and failures have to change us. They're gonna teach it's gonna teach us a lesson, but it does not necessarily have to change us and who we are and the core and essence of who we are and our being. It does not have to change you, okay? But oftentimes I do understand and can agree if you've experienced this to where these things have changed you or they have hardened you up. You know what I'm trying to say? It's time for you all to, you know, let that ice box around your heart melt, okay? Let it melt. Let it melt so that you can feel again. I also heard Breathe Again by uh, Tony Braxton. You know when she'd be like, breathe again. I just heard her sing that part in my head. So it's time for you all to breathe, okay? It's time for you all to excel. It's time for you all to let it go and just, you know, let it go so that you can build a, a brighter a brighter future, okay? Let it go so you can build a brighter future. And then we also have um, serendipity as well. So with the serendipity card, I just feel like, um, like serendipity has a lot to do with luck and to, you know, things that seem like... Um, <laughs> they just kind of happened out of nowhere, you know, like you wasn't really expecting this thing. So I really do feel like it's time. And I feel, even though, oh yeah, I do feel like it's time for you all to initiate this change. I feel like spirit is not really going to do this for you. Um, so it's time for you to take opportunities to move past and to forgive not only these other people, whoever hurt you, but also mostly forgiving yourself for you know what you had what you don't have what i just heard was like a lack thereof so things that you lost things that you don't have anymore um but yeah i also got y'all a clarification card with between worlds yeah but the between worlds card typically comes up when it's like you're still kind of engaged in your past or who you used to be but meanwhile you're moving into you know just a, a new life and who you are becoming so i just feel like <laughs> You know, what you need to do is, is you need to continue moving past your past because it's literally not here anymore. So if you have to regress and that's what you have to do because it happens, regressing back to your past, then it's like, just pay attention to what you're saying to yourself as you're doing those things. It's like, are you comforting yourself? Are you, you know, cussing at yourself or cussing at the other person that did you dirty? Like, what are you doing? It's time for you to speak comforting words to yourself. But yeah, you all... In order to live your best life, it's like you are going to have to move oh, move from your past, you know, move away from your past and step into this new person that you want to be or this new life that you want to create for yourself. Um, yeah, so I just feel like the best way like that you can, you know, live your best life is to get out of your past, get out of your past, like. So let's get y'all some more cards with the Divine Feminine uh, uh, Divine Feminine Oracle deck and see what comes up. Give me one second. I want to be able to shuffle this, this deck. So we have Looking Within. Yeah, it's time for you all to look within. You know, take a second to think. Um, and this is even with the regressing. I feel like the key to your happiness and what i just heard was like the key to your freedom 
freedom from your past is going to be within you. So you're definitely going to have to take some time to, to look within, take some time to think. Take some time to think. And then we also have <laughs> the relationship card, the relationship. So yeah, I definitely, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, so um, yeah, this pile was definitely given relationships and just your connections to other people, um, you know, in your past that has, you know, it's it's put up some, some walls and some boundaries around you. And so I definitely do feel like you know, you have to do the regression that is needed so that you can comfort yourself and forgive yourself. Um, even if you can't call up those other people or call up that person and say, you know, I forgive you for this and that. It's like forgiveness is for you anyway. Okay. Forgiveness is for you anyway. It's not necessarily for that other person. It's for you so that you can move on. So I definitely do feel like, um, a big thing for y'all, a big practical action step, like I've been saying already, is that regression Regression is like, because the regression is going to, it's going to happen, but you don't have to get stuck there. So you, like I mentioned already, pay attention to what you're saying and speak comforting words to yourself so that you can get past it. And the more that you regress there, it's like the less time you're going to be spending in that energy and it's going to be within your habitual behavior to just be like, you are okay. Telling yourself like, you are okay. You are loved. You are safe. You are secure. Like, you know, reminding yourself of those things. So you might have to um, incorporate some affirmations, um, you know, as you're looking back on the past. But I re really think it's time for you all to resolve your past and to move forward. And let's get um, some cards here from the Surrender Deck. Okay, <laughs> the surrender deck. Let's get some cards here and give me a second to shuffle these because give me a second to shuffle these because I really didn't get to um, after my last thing. I know a card popped up, but I just want to shuffle adequately. Unless Spirit want me to take two cards for y'all. Because I'm just like, every time I start shuffling, it's only two cards come out instead of just one. But here we have Surrender to Complete Healing for y'all. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So yeah, there's going to be healing and the forgiveness. Like There's going to be healing and forgiving yourself. Um, there's going to be healing within letting things go that are literally no longer here. There's going to be healing. It's going to help you to become more empowered um, so that you can fully step into your, you know, into your present and into your future. Y'all are in between worlds right now anyway. So it's like you might as well continue to keep focusing on your healing so that you can step into this new world. Like, I don't want my, my camera to like not focus but it's like, it's literally going to be on y'all to, you know, create and build the life that it is that you want and give yourself the best chance, you know, as possible to succeed and to experience a happy life, like through healing, like give yourself that chance and experience, because as you can see here in your past, it's mad gray, it's mad dismal, you know, it's dismal, it looks depressing, but we can see here. We can see here, like, as you step into your new life, it's like you're stepping into this life accomplished. Like, it's celebration. It's success. It's like, you know, you regain your, your complexion back, okay? You got your complexion back, all right? <laughs> you got your complexion. So this is what I'm trying to say. It's like that healing and, like, literally forgiving your past is literally just the last thing that I feel like that is really going to, the last thing that I feel like that you need, that's going to help you to just, you know, it's going to catapult you <laughs> into experiencing what you actually really truly want to experience, which is not only self-love with another person, but it's also the self-love within yourself, you know, listening to yourself, you know, being happy and being satisfied and grateful with yourself. Like, and that is what's going to help you to, you know, find love with another person. So I just feel like, I just feel like, 
you know, the things that you lost, you lost. <laughs> the things that you lost, you lost. Even with the relationship card, is like maybe what you lost wasn't even, you know, the, you know, the highlight or the best of what you can have. So it's like you got to kind of let that go too, <laughs> you know, clean it up. Clean it up with the toilet paper we have here. It's like, clean it up. <laughs> Spill on aisle two. You got to clean it up and got to keep it pushing. So, I definitely hope that y'all understood this reading. I was having fun, but I definitely hope that you all resonated with this. You understood the question. You were able to, you know, utilize these messages for your progressive development. And I definitely hope that you all like, comment, subscribe. And I cannot wait to see y'all in the next one. Be blessed, fam.